Right, let's take you back to this now. Murder accused Philemon Lukele as ANC membership has been withdrawn by the Mpumalanga leadership with immediate effect. Lukele is one of the three men accused of the murder, rape and um, the kidnapping of Hilary Gardi, the daughter of former EFF Secretary General Godrich Gardi. We are now joined by ANC Mpumalanga Deputy Secretary Lindiwe Njali Njali. Uh, Ma'am, thank you very much for joining us back. Are you okay? No, thank you very much. Uh, I'm okay now. Okay. Uh, so let's just pick up yeah, on your point you where you mentioned that you found breaches in acquiring his membership. What were those breaches? We have interacted with a branch of the ANC uh, in the uh, Tanzania region because it was alleged that he has acquired membership. But according to us and the ANC constitution, is that uh, somebody who's not uh, a member, I mean, a South African citizen, let me just read for you, who qualifies to be the member. It says the membership of the ANC shall be open to all South Africans above ages 18, irrespective of their race, color, or creed, who accept its principles and policies. Then it further says a person not of South African origin or who have manifested a clear identification with South African people and their struggles and are residents in South Africa may apply. The National Executive Committee, acting on the recommendation of the branch, Provincial Executive Committee or Regional Executive Committee, may grant honorary membership to those men and women who do not qualify for membership in terms of Rule 4.1 who have demonstrated commitment and unwavering support towards the ANC. So in this case, we've went back to our records because the records from the branch, it shows that he's been a member since 2019. And 2019 is when we're starting to migrate from the old forms, uh, the new membership system online. So we had operations where everybody was saying, bring all the membership forms, let's populate them, let's upload them into the system. But branch secretaries, as per the new membership system, were given a lot of work uh, to make sure that they do what we call verification of membership, data cleansing. It is unfortunate that one of the things that that branch did not do, Sarah, which was data cleansing. When we picked it up, we picked it up when they were saying, he is your member of the ANC. And we said, let's go back, let's retreat and go and check. Indeed, when we went to the branch profile, we requested the branch to finish us with it. We find that he was there in the membership system. But what was funny, how did the system accept him with the ID that it shows that it's foreign? The last three numbers is 180. So it tells you that that person is not a South African citizen. And in the ID itself, it is indicating non-South African citizen, and country of birth, Swaziland. So in, 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 he doesn't qualify. If he has been given an honorary membership, like when a rule 4.3 4 says it is the National Executive Committee that will do, it would have been asked as a province during 2019 to go and present his membership, and once the ANC has agreed nationally, it will be approved. So in this case, it has not gone through that process. Hence, we said it will be good that we withdraw that membership because it doesn't meet the requirement. He's, he's non-South African, therefore, in terms of the constitution, he can't join. And his membership is not approved by the National Executive Committee. But we are interacting with the branch so that also we teach them on what should be done and not what must not be done. But our new membership system is the new membership system where it's still having some cheating problems, where we're saying we're still continuing on data cleansing and making sure that we perfect the system. Those that uh, uploaded their membership during the period of 2019, I think it's where some of the sifting was not done properly. But where we are, in terms of our own constitution, he is not a member of the ANC. Hence, he might appear in our data. He might have joined and go straight to the bank to bank for his membership and upload it in the system. Hence, we're saying now, we're withdrawing it. 
because it did not follow the constitutional prescripts of the ANC. Ms. Nchalinchali, according to your records, as you have outlined for us, he's been a member with the ANC uh, since 2019. What do your records show in terms of how active he was within the party? What was surprising to us is that uh, he resides in Nelspruit, which is Bombela sub-region. But his membership appears in Nkoma's sub-region, which is another municipality. And our constitution is clear that uh, you are going to be an active member where you reside and where you vote. And in terms of our records, we were clear that he is not a South African and therefore he can't be a voting uh, person. Like he was appointed in the chief whip's office years before even this PEC came because there is a, a matter to say he was exiled from Swaziland, hence he came to the country. But we are still also awaiting that detailed report from the office of the chief whip so that they give us also those details and we interact also in terms of our international relations desk to interact with the PUDEMO so that we do thorough investigation. But when PWC met on the statement that we issued, we said we must dig deeper because even the ID number, yes, it is showing it's non-South African, but me, uh, myself and yourself, we are South Africans and your names in the uh, 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 your identity documents, they come in full, Leona, Lindy, and Chalinchan. But what was surprising here is that it says Philmon M, and we never seen an ID which has an initial on it. Hence, we must go deeper and dig. Home affairs must come in. Immigrations must come in. They must assist us. Everybody must come on board because it tells you that the security of the country is threatened when we are weakened, even from our own home affairs officers, because we even doubted that uh, we cannot have this uh, uh, ID that it has also initials, Philip Mon M. Where have you seen a, an ID number that does not have your full names? Because your identity must have your full names. So we think that uh, something is amiss, but as the ANC, we're not in the position we have picked up these discrepancies, and we said the relevant bodies will be notified, and so that... Uh, that investigation can also assist us. But we are happy because also the police are on the space. Your foreign ministers must also assist us in terms of these uh, issues so that we close the matter very well. But we don't think that he is legit in the country, like to say he is uh, exiled in our country. Be that as it may, ma'am, well, and with the wrong information, with the wrong ID numbers, with the wrong name on the ID number, someone within the ANC managed to capture him as a member of the party. So perhaps for some clarity, uh, it is still not known to yourselves at this stage just how active he was within the party in Mpumalanga. Your records don't show him to have participated in any conferences, in any meetings. No, 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 he's never participated in conferences because, remember, he was just a researcher in the chief whip's office. So if he comes to the meetings of the ANC, it's where they provide your support in commissions, like as a resource person, providing certain information from the research side, but not as a voting delegate, not in one of the conferences that I remember where he participated and was part of the conferences, no. Even all four conferences that were held now in the province, your provincial conference, and it turns in, he was not participating. What I know, he will do research work when we're busy with your elections in the province, not uh, being active or elected in any position of ANC. Ma'am, you mentioned teething problems with the new online system. Would you say that then this calls for an audit, especially of the previous system of capturing people who would then be known as members of the ANC, just to clean the system and get to know who exactly is there, uh, you know, by law and by your own uh, laws as a party, and who is not supposed to be there? We have already started with that. Uh, immediately we picked it up. We contacted national organizing, national membership, also our provincial membership to start uh, auditing all this membership because uh, this system, we are perfecting it. It's not perfect. 
uh, especially for those that uh, has uploaded their membership when it started. But for now, you must put in your, your ID number and the system, if your ID number is invalid, it will kick you. That is why I was saying all those that went in the first time when we were starting with the system, that is why I'm saying the sifting there might have gone uh, uh, wrong in terms of picking this up. Because also things that uh, the system were not able to pick up is when a person is also deceased. So hence we requested branches to notify us so that as there is a deceased person, you can alert the office so that we can uh, 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 manually remove that person. Hence we we're requesting uh, on time to time branch secretaries must make sure that uh, they clean the system. Do you have a message for the Gadi family? I can't hear you. Do you have a message at all for the... As the ANC, we've been uh, with the Gadi family. We have supported them. We stand by them. We don't condone the behavior of uh, Philemon Lukele. And we're saying as the ANC, we're with them. We will be with them until the case ends. And they have our full support. Their daughter did not deserve to die like this in the hands of men who also knew him, because all of us who worked with Godrish Gadi, we know the family, and it is unfortunate, but we believe in our uh, law, we believe in our judicial uh, uh, system to say justice will be served for Hilary. ANC Mpumalanga Deputy Secretary Lindiwe Njali Njali, thank you for your time this afternoon.